Another Dawn of War 2 Retribution Elite Mod class. Let's cast. Let's get it going. So in this cast, we got Renio. Uh, let's see, as the Force Commander, he has a new, very nice new helmet in the Elite Mod. Uh, you only have it if you're, like, leveled up, though. My Space Marine Army got somehow lost all 60 of its levels, so now I'm back to, like, five or something it's very disappointing but look at that cool new helmet while this guy captures i can afford to do this just look at this helmet because uh, nothing's actually happened yet just capturing and he uh, renio the force commander is up against me uh sindri troll face cast uh no just kidding uh i'm not playing sindri today and i am playing uh, let's see if i can get oh good shot i'm playing the plague champion with his face falling off i'm uh i don't really play the pla plague champion but you know you can, it's, it's not that much of a stretch to play a hero you don't play if you're still playing your main race. You just have to count for, uh, basically one unit and, and the globals. Anyway, Renio is going for scouts, tax, and he's got another scout squad coming out right here. <sighs> Pretty typical Space Marine build. Meanwhile, I am going heretics. Chaos Space Marines, and another Heretic Squad. Also a pretty typical Chaos Space Marine build, although it's not typical for me. Um, I find that I usually either go double Chaos Space Marines, or at least I did that for a long time. Lately in Elite, I, what I've been doing more is 1-1-1. Uh, one, one, one. Uh, well, actually, uh, not quite. But what I've been doing is Heretics, Chaos Space Marines, Noise Marines, and Raptors. Actually, the Raptors come first. Anyway, I am losing on the victory points. Uh, Radio has two victory points. I have... None. No way, I've won. Anyway, it's all been capturing so far, so uh, no action. Um, meanwhile, I'm a little low on wreck because I noted my power and I also put a generator. Renio just noted his power and he's running a little bit more of a slurp surplus of requisition. Uh, Kea, the Ch Plague Champion is kind of alone against all of the against most of the range units um, I decide to force melee these tacks so that my heretics can get in without taking range damage from the tacks although now they're probably gonna be taking range damage from the scouts and uh, the tacks actually do run away will they lose a model please no I decided to instead to turn my attention toward these heretics and that's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be tough uh, Although, meanwhile, I did have my Chaos Space Marines uh, capturing Renio's natural victory point. So, now I'm winning the victory points. I do have my Heretics worshipping over here. Plague Champion does get forced off. Chaos Space Marines, meanwhile, are trying to shoot the Heretics. I mean, not the Heretics, the Scouts. But, um... But they, uh... But the, f the Force Commander is tying up the Chaos Space Marines. I got a second squad of Heretics right here worshiping. Both have the Aspiring Champion, and I used this one up here, the full health one, to destroy Renio's power node. So now, now I'm definitely having a better power income, although Renio still has more wreck, partly because he hasn't been spending anything on generators. Uh, he also just got a Devastator squad. That's going to be trouble for me right now with my current build. I don't ha really have much to counter it. Uh, I do run my Heretics and my Chaos Space Marines out of the Devastator's Arc of Fire, though. I do suppress the Force Commander, but now he, the suppression's gone, and my Chaos Space Marines should probably retreat, because any if they stay much longer, they will lose a model, and there we go. There's their retreat. All right, so right now, um, let's see. Map control for, I'd say, is actually kind of in my favor, uh, but I did just get forced off, so Renio's going to start recapturing the map. He's taking the power, my nat m not my natural power, this power. He's taking this middle requisition. He's obviously going to take back his victory point. Um, and these forward scouts are probably going to go for this uh, requisition point right over here. So far, I've only got my Chaos, my, my Plague Champion back on the field. And he's kind of just harassing these tactical marines a bit. And when I see the Force Commander coming, I kind of run the Plague Champion back around this wall. Um, I have, alright, I had my Heretics worshipping. I think I wanted them to... Uh, heal my Chaos Space Marines. I'm also going for a Raptor Squad now so I can counter the Devastators. Anyway, right now my Plague Champion has no upgrades. Uh, I do eventually upgrade him fully, uh, but I guess I find it's it's a little more important to get like this army out on the field. Uh, and right now I've got a pretty solid army, especially since I've got Aspiring Champions on both of my Heretics. Um, these guys are just running out under worship where they can just get get some healing. Uh, and I'm kind of uh, staggering my worship. 
Anyway, we got a bit of a, a, a defensive line here from the <laughs> from the Chaos team. I decide to worship my with my full health spot so the other one can get healed. Uh, Raptors jump in, but a little prematurely uh, because now they're actually getting suppressed. But while the Devastator is, is suppressing the Raptors, I actually come in force melee with my with my Chaos Space Marines. So that was actually a pretty good play. And then that since they're now trying to focus, he's trying to focus my Chaos Space Marines. I run in with both Heretic Squad, and that is dangerous. Heretics are squishy, and uh, but when you got two of them, then you're in pretty good shape. Anyway, Chaos Space Marines do get kind of get fi forced off finally um, they do lose a model but they did uh, go a lot towards helping me win that engagement um, I'm kind of having my plague champion just capture and he's I, I do have my heretics run off because I can tell that the devastators coming back and with all this range fire they shouldn't stay in too long or they will lose a lot of models this one's losing a lot of models as it is uh, it's gonna lose it actually lost every model except for the aspiring champion and I finally just retreated out of there uh, meanwhile the plague champion has just been He's only been capturing lately. Uh, and these heretics have to go too because they're just getting focused. Plague Champion, meanwhile, uh, I, ca I can kind of see that I, this is not a fight I'm going to win with only my Plague Champion. So I'm running him away. Uh, I'm getting the Mucus Discharge so that I can make him a little more durable so that he can heal himself and also heal, heal other units. Right now I'm losing on the map control though. Even though I won the prior engagement and I had a unit capping, I guess the thing was I didn't cap with all of my units. I was only capping with the Plague Champion. Raptor's finally coming back here. Suppressing Tax. Gonna do some damage there. Uh, tax may... Yeah, they, they retreat before they lose a model. Double Scouts do less... Double Scouts do less damage than a single Tax Squad. So, I mean, it's... Um, these opening uh, Space Marine builds are actually... They do a lot of ranged DPS, even though uh, individual units don't do much. It's just because... With Space Marines, both of their starting units, their their non-power units, Tax and Scouts are range units. For all, just about, I'm pretty sure every other race, uh, their starting units are one melee and one ranged unit. Except for Grey Knights, I guess you could call Strike Squad both a ranged unit and a melee unit. I don't know how much range damage they actually do. Uh, I'm still losing on map control. I'm getting my Chaos Space Marines over here to finally take back to a victory point. I've I've kind of lost a lot of victory points uh just not really capturing meanwhile this plague champion he is decapturing the one of these natural requisition points he's probably only going to get the decap off if even that because he's starting to get focused by the scouts yes and yeah i move him out of there i use the mucus discharge discharge to revive to restore his health he hasn't done much yet. Uh, I did get the sword, so he hasn't done much because he's been getting focused down and he can't shoot back, really. Uh, Chaos Space Marines over here. I'm going to shoot a little bit, but ultimately I don't think this is a winning fight for me. Actually, let's see. Um, Chaos Space Marines. I'm go with my Chaos Space Marines, I'm going for the scouts because Chaos Space Marines hard counter scouts. Um, and then the Plague Champion. I'm um, chasing... Oh, and what I did was I chased down... I tried to use the heal and keep the Chaos Space Marines close to the Plague Champions so that the heal would affect them too. And it did, although they still lost a model and they are still going to have to retreat. I do force off both Scout Squads though. And right now the Plague Champion is even threatening these... He's even threatening uh, the Tax. And these Tax know that they're either going to run into a Plague Champion or... Or, or these heretics, so they decide to just retreat out of there. Now, interesting situation. Uh, I'm not in Tier 2 yet. Renio is in Tier 2, and he's got incredible resources. He's got one point. He's got 1,300 requisition and 120 power. I've got, like, no requisition. I've got 100 power. We have equal numbers of units. I don't know where he's getting all these resources. He may just not... Re I don't think he really lost that many models. He's been doing a good job of retreating without losing models. Uh, meanwhile, I've been bleeding a lot from Heretics, obviously, and also a little bit from my Chaos Space Marines. I've been losing Chaos Space Marine models, and those are expensive. And then Heretics, you you, you have to bleed them. You're, you can't use Heretics without bleeding them. Um, that's just how it is. Anyway, my... My Plague Champion does run in there and does get suppressed. I'm still waiting to get to Tier 2. Renio's got a Dreadnought coming on the way with a thousand requisition to spare while I've got the Armor of Pestilence screwed up. I'm getting armor. But I'm starting to take back the map. Uh, the, the Chaos Raptors are doing a good job of uh, helping me win. I think 
even though I'm behind in tech, I think my army composition is actually winning over over Renios. Although not anymore now, now that he has a Dreadnought. Um, and he is using his scouts to d do what scouts do, which is just capture while the rest of his army fights. That Devastator, I love the sound of a Devastator. It, it's just so awesome. Anyway, it's not shooting anymore. Let's focus on the action. But, uh, my Raptors, um, I mean, I'd say my Raptors are not really countered right now. He's not handling my Raptors that well. I do Mass Retreat because I don't want to take too much bleed from this, from the Streadnought. Uh, he should get shotguns on scouts because then my Raptors wouldn't be able to do much. Or th they would so long as uh, the, sh the shotgun scouts are not there. Uh, they would still be good against the Devastator. Uh, so let's see, he's got... <laughs> So, Renio has a Dreadnought. I don't really have a counter. Actually, I quickly switched to the Plague Fist. So, I actually didn't get much use out of that Plague Sword. Uh, not a good purchase. But I got the Plague Fist now. I got the Armor Pestilence. And I got the Mucus Discharge. This com The combination of the Plague Champion having a lot of health with the, this armor. Uh, being able to restore his health actually makes him very tanky. Uh, he is slow as shit, though. His speed is down to, like, 3.5. Uh, I'm losing a lot on map control now. I basically just have my power, this side power, requisition, and my natural victory point. I'm going to start recapturing stuff, but I also got to like deal with his forces. But I did get a Havoc Squad. I, I, was, I got the Havoc Squad. When you're in a position with Chaos, and it's, it's happening more these days, now that uh, Chaos AV isn't quite what it used to be with... Uh, Plague Marines having slower speed, Blood Letters doing power melee damage, and not heavy melee damage. When you nade a AV with Chaos, um, a Havoc is actually... It's actually, in a way, it's your best choice. It's your best when you need desperate AV. When you don't even really have the resources for any units yet, this is actually the cheapest. Uh, obviously, a Havoc is 250 requisition and 30, and 30 power. And then it's just another 75 to upgrade to the Laz Cannon. Uh, and that Laz Cannon is actually doing a ton of damage to the Dreadnought. I think the Laz Cannon has also been buffed in Elite. I think it does more damage. It's like a, any other Laz Cannon. Um, these Raptors out here, they're, ha they're at half health. But I'm trying to keep them on the field because there's Worship. But the I think they're going to get forced off just because the, <laughs> the Force Commander just does way too much damage. Um, although, actually, I think I might be keeping them on the field, getting the Aspiring Champion, so that I can keep them on the field and keep disrupting, or not disrupting, but suppressing these units. My last cannon is probably going to have to go, because the Force Commander is chasing it down, uh, and he does get another mile, so I can't keep it on any longer, because otherwise I risk losing the whole squad. Heretics force off these tacks, but now they have a Dreadnought on their ass, and they can't deal with that. I don't know where Renio's getting all this money, maybe just from the map control. He's got a fully kitted out uh, Force Commander, Power Fist, Artificer, Teleporter, uh, and he's got incredible resources, F 1,500 requisition, 100 power. I'm st I've still got, I mean, I've got a lot of power, but look at my requisition. And I, I guess it's because I'm bleeding a lot, especially through the Heretics, which are now decapturing this point. I'm getting my natural victory point back. Uh, I'm actually getting Mark of Corn Space Marines. I did lose, uh, I, you did see me lose a Chaos Raptor model from the Force Commander. One of the great things about the Power Fist is that it's great at bleeding models just because it does so much damage in one hit. It's probably, in my opinion, the Power Fist is the best hero melee weapon. For both because, even though there are some weapons that have higher DPS, uh, I'm pretty sure the Power Fist has the highest burst damage. Um, the Force Commander has this huge long windup. Uh, he does like one hit in like five seconds but it does like a huge damage it like just does so much damage it, i think it like two shots a lot of power armor models and, uh, and now renio's getting a second dreadnought and he still has 1200 requisition to spare now with yeah that's ridiculous and even the the spectators are commenting renio has a surplus of incoming beyond belief i don't know where he's getting all this money uh anyway i got I got Mark of Corn Space Marines right here. And this is, again, taking advantage of the fact that Reniel has not gotten any shotguns on, on his scouts. Uh, if he got shotguns on his scouts, it pro I probably would have had to get Zinch Marines instead. Uh, I, th I think Corn Space Marines are better overall, but right now... Um, but I guess in the normal composition of... 
the Space Marine Army. They should have shotguns on their scouts. And then Corn Marines kind of get countered by shotgun scouts, while Zinch Marines counter shotgun scouts. Anyway, I'm starting to win this engagement. My last cannon is shooting this, this Dreadnought, and we got a second Dreadnought coming in. That is ridiculous. Two Dreadnoughts. Uh, one of the spectators says the map control was always even, but it's not true. Um, Serenio was winning on the map control. I seem to be winning on the engagements, though. Uh, <laughs> Renio got the 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 thunder hammer. Great weapon. It's actually forcing off my havocs. My havocs have to go, but I don't think he really needed it. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter because he has so many resources that he can just buy whatever he wants. He could just buy another tax squad. He could buy another scout squad. It, he could just he could spam generators on on every single one of these power nodes. That's a ridiculous surplus of resources. My plague champion is going to go down, I think. I, uh, yeah, he does. I was trying to use him to to threaten this dreadnought. Um, and I think I missed it, unfortunately, but I did kill one of the dreadnoughts. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, corn space rings do light AV, but they still definitely lose against the Dreadnought just because of how much damage they will take. Rhino still is floating unbelievable resources. It's ridiculous. I guess, I mean, I guess he doesn't even really know what to buy. Uh, right now he's probably waiting until tier 3. Ooh, that's a really bad situation for those heretics. They lose every single one. Now, that's, this is why I get the Aspiring Champion. Because if I didn't have the Aspiring Champion, I would have lost that squad. Anyway, I bought my Plague Champion back. I was able to afford it, obviously. I'm staying in Tier 2. Corn Space Marine's not in great shape. I'm going to I'm gonna take the second Dreadnought with the Plague Champion. Yep, Plague Champion. That Power Fist, doing pretty good. Plague Champion, is he retreating or just walking away? Alright, he heals himself and also these guys. Uh, Chaos Raptors right here. They don't have the energy to jump, so they just kind of attack straight up um, they do have to retreat because they're just taking a little too much damage I do have one of my heretic squads over here decapping Renio does go to tier 3 this is it's a weird game uh, probably <laughs> uh, did I wipe his tax no oh no he got I wiped both of his dreadnoughts he just got the stern guards and he's going tier 2 tier 3 with 490 red I've got 440 red Ridiculous. Double heretics against these double scouts. These double scouts. Well, one of the scout squads is actually level 2. Probably just from, from all the heretic models. And that's another thing that's j just one of the uh, things about chaos. The, these chaos heretics, they're going to be an ever-present source of bleed for you if you play chaos. And they're also going to be feeding a lot of levels uh, to, your, to the other player. Especially because, like... Scouts are not good at killing anything, except for heretic models. So that's where they've been getting all those levels. Force Commander, meanwhile, is lever 5. Uh, Devastator does get forced off, and now the, the Raptors are laying into the attacks. Though are the Stern Guards. Ooh, those corn Space Marines ago are getting disrupted. But I do have the... <laughs> I'm starting to use my red. I haven't been using it. And part of the reason I haven't been using it is because I'm not... I don't play the Plague Champion. But I, I eventually, I'm just like, I'm playing, and I'm thinking, I'm like, oh yeah, I got this global. It's really good. It's it's probably overpowered, to be honest. I finally start using it. Um, I'm using it to get red now. And I don't know if I really had to leave. <laughs> I lost a heretic model there. v Crack is saying, I think Kret might win. Kret is me, short for Cretella. Renio still has stupid resources, almost 2,000. He could just get a tax squad. And, like, I mean, if you have that many... He could oh, one thing he really should do is... One thing you need... What you should do is if you are running a surplus on requisition with Space Marines, you need to get a Plasma Cannon squad. Um, it's such a good unit, to be honest. It's just sometimes hard to fit it into your army composition. Or especially when you're low on resources. All right, Assault ter Terminators come down here. To be honest, I'm not afraid. Um, what I do, I have the Plague Champion right here. He stunned them. And now, well, I, I've got a lot of units 
fighting them. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I, I'm pretty sure I do something right here. Okay, I use the mucus discharge to heal my units, and soon my my corn space marines are low on health, and they should probably go out of there. But what I do, I use the touch of Nurgle again to heal all of my units to make it so my 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 heretics are basically invincible until they get to the last model. I keep the I keep the raptors in here, and if you'll notice. These Terminators are almost down to about 20% health, less than 20% out of 5,000, 5,400. They lost a model. Why did that happen? First of all, Raptors do, they have that, they do pretty good damage. Uh, the Corn Space Marines do a ton of damage. Uh, the, I stun them a bit with the Plague Champion, and then the Chaos Heretics with the Touch of Nurgle, they really just keep, they just keep my, the army alive. So, uh, basically, I have a way of countering those Terminators. Uh, I don't think Renio really understands. <laughs> um, I'd say, even though he's in Tier 3 and, I, and he's got Terminators, I think the way, I, the way I've been handling this at the moment has kind of been favoring me. Uh, I do have a Corn Dreadnought on the field. Another thing, just to deal with those Terminators. Um, it's n actually not that great of a choice, but... I mean, it's just something to deal with them. Because, obviously, with Terminators, you're never going to have something that one-on-one -on -one beats them. But the Dreadnought, um, once it goes Blood Rage, it, it, does, um, it does a lot of damage to them while not taking a whole lot. Although, once the Blood Rage goes down, that definitely it's a battle that definitely favors the Terminators. Uh, Corn Space Marines over here, forcing off the scouts, and now going to capture. <laughs> the Force Commander switches back to the Power Fist, but he gets knocked over on his ass. Now, this is kind of a bad situation. Uh, I'm probably actually going to lose the Dreadnought here. As much as I was saying about how much it can help, I think I'm going to lose it right here. Um, the, he, the, we'll see. I do use Touch of Nurgle to for, for, force off the Force Commander. Force off the Force. Um, but I'm probably still going to lose this Dreadnought. Uh, <laughs> Touch of Nurgle again, knocking the Force Commander on his ass. Uh... Two model Raptor squad, and why did I turn turn them around? Oh, because I, well, it's okay. I got the Plague Champion. He stuns them, and I think that's actually going to save my Dreadnought. And these, I still have uh, Heretics with the Touch of Nurgle. Not quite a winning fight yet, uh, but he does he does retreat his Assault Terminators because he doesn't want them to die. Um, I do bring I have Heretic squads and my. And my corn space marines in here, and I've got I've been, I got my entire uni army in here. I do need to get this heretic squad out of here. Are they going to go down? No, they make it out alive. Anyway, a terminator has fallen. Oh, I I did lose a heretic squad, um, but I, I'm still winning. These terminators are going down just because I have just so much damage in there. And now I disrupt or not disrupt because I suppress these. The, t the stern guards, and then just the scouts are no match for uh, the Plague Champion and the Corn Marines. Renio's lost most of his army. Um, I lost a Heretic Squad, and my Dreadnought is down to low health, and it's going to take a long time to get it back on the field. And, ooh, Raptor's in trouble. Probably going to lose a model. Maybe not. Uh, I am capturing the Natural Victory Point with my Corn Space Marines. They kind of need to go. They're going to lose a model, I think. Uh, I do have I do heal him a bit with the plague champion. Not that great of a heal, but uh, st I mean it, it does help him a lot. Um, and if you'll notice, I only have a level two plague champion, level two heretics, level two, level two, level one, level one. Uh, Renio's got level three bolter scouts. That's how many how many heretic models I've lost this game. Level three bolter scouts and a level seven force commander. And this game is about to go to me. I'm actually using my Havoc Squad to tie up, or actually no, I don't know what they're doing. But either way, I won the game.